Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and my channel is Psychology. And today, today I am taking you diving. Well, not literally, but I am at MyD Expo. So MyD, M-I-D-E, is the largest diving expo here in Malaysia. It's called Malaysia International Dive Expo and it's an annual event. They stopped it for two years and now they are resuming and I'm super excited. I rushed back from Kuching for this dive expo. Malaysia is the best diving place in the entire Southeast Asia and I've just got brought my new GoPro so I need stuff for my diving trip that is coming up in Sabah. So I've already bought my ticket. It is this weekend. It is 10 to 7 p.m. And I'm going to bring you to have a sneak peek of this incredible dive expo. Before COVID, it was one of the busiest dive expo there is in this region. And now they are back. So let's go and check it out. Oh my god, I am in paradise. There are so many incredible gears and equipment shops in here. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna spend, again, I'm gonna spend a lot of money on these gears. So these, this dive expo is really the premium place where you can get all the diving equipment, all the diving gears you would ever need. And they have like really great discounts. And I can see, oh, this is like a dream come true. I'm with the manager who, uh, who is manning the Philippine booth. Nice booth, by the way. Yeah, Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Andy Pagaduan. Uh, I'm the market specialist of the Tourism Promotions Board Manila, Philippines. And um, we're attending the Malaysia International Dive Expo 2022. Our booth, our booth is the concept of uh, the diving uh, destinations. Nice, yeah. nice. I have, I have dived in the Philippines. Oh, yeah, really? I went to Cebu to okay. see the sardines. But it's not actually diving, but it's like what snorkeling. About, what about the whale shark? The what? Whale shark. The, yes, I saw the whale shark in Oslo. Yeah, in Oslo, yeah. yeah, in Oslo. So, what is the best time to go diving in the Philippines, you think? Uh, it's a year-round. Uh, it's year-round? Yes. We have a lot of uh, diving destinations. Um, Malapaswa in Cebu, Bohol, in Tagbilaran, uh, Dumaguete. Dumaguete. Yes. Um, Anilao, Puerto Galera, yeah. Dumaguete. Yeah, those, those, those are really, really and Coron. nice. And Coron. And Yes. So, yes. what is the situation now at entrance to the Philippines? Um, visit the Philippines uh, with the fully uh, vaccinated... Uh, fully vaccinated and yes. you can enter, there's nothing else, right? Yes. Uh, we have the, um, we have we have four uh, private sector with us that they can uh, have their uh, packages, diving packages. Diving packages, yes. yeah. Yeah. We have the uh, Scandi divers. The Scandi divers is from uh, Domaguete. Right. And then uh, the, um, the Peace Eye divers this I dive with Boracay. Okay. Okay, uh, the Pier Ono is in Anilao. Okay. And then Paninsan, um, uh, Paninsan is uh, Dumaguete. This one is Scandi Divers. Is, uh, Scandi, so scan, scan, they are working with Scandi Diver. Yeah. And I'll take more information of that later. Okay. So okay. they're working with Scandi Diver to help you put up a package. Yes. And yes, I, oh, I am waiting to go diving in the yeah, Philippines. Yeah, together with us is uh, the Philippine Airlines here. Uh, and also the Philippine Airlines. So this is the rates for Philippine Air, the current rate now for uh, Midi Fair. And these are the special rates they offer now to go to the Philippines. Wow. 30, oh, this is inclusive of 30 kilogram luggage. So they are flying frequent daily in June, right? So this is the package that you offer, is it? Yeah. 398 per pack. Includes, oh, four nights accommodation. 
Daily, daily breakfast. Oh, and where is this location? Okay. Location is in Porta, Porta Galera. Porta Galera, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. So yeah. it's Porta Galera. And um, they have five days, four nights. It's like the premium diving, premium diving state here in Malaysia. There's nothing like diving in Sabah. I've been there. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Melino. I'm from uh, Mataking Island. And I'm as a dive instructor. Oh, you're a dive instructor. Dive instructor yeah. So you are at Mata King. Mata King I yeah, think. yeah. So what is the what is the thing people must uh, know when they go diving in Sabah? In Sabah, uh, in Sabah, some I think most of the uh, from Semananju, they haven't been to Sabah before. They yeah. haven't know about the Sabah. There is a lot yeah. of uh, islands. Islands. Uh, beautiful islands. A lot of the dive sites also have Sabah. But for, for sure, in Sabah. You must dive at Sipadan Island. Oh yeah, one that's, of the best. That's one of the best. Yes. So what is the best time to go le? in Sabah, like a dry uh, season? Any times, actually. You think any uh, time? Any times, you can go to Sabah, you can visit there. And, but for my uh, uh, opinion, uh, opinion. Sa Sabah, better you go around May. May. June. Yeah, May yes, yes, June. I agree. Yes. May is really the best time to go. Mm. It's drier. Yes. And the weather is better, the water is clearer, good visibility. Mata King, there is a private island. It's a private island? Private island, yes. Nice. Um, now, now we have a, a lot of the uh, off, uh, like a 15% off. Oh, you have 15% like 15, 15 yeah, off now that, at Mata King? Yeah, Mata okay. King, yeah. And then the room is not a little bit cheaper than like the last time. Mm. Yeah. Mata King, for sure, we can see a turtle. See the turtles, turtle, yes. that's, uh, that's a guarantee. Yes, in our house reef also, we have the artificial reef. We do have a jackfish, a small group of the jackfish. Nice, nice, street. nice. And if you're lucky now, we still can see a bumhead parrotfish there. And mm. bumhead parrotfish, yes. Okay, guys, I'm getting this really nice uh, frame for my GoPro, um, and this is really very compact. With this is this. This torch light is 2,600 lumen each side and I love the grip. The grip is like really, really strong and each of these items of course sold separately and, and the guy is going to give me the pricing for this. I'm buying this at Shop Scuba Holics. So this whole set mm -hmm. is uh, 1,999. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> this whole set is 1,999. I think it looks fabulous. Yep. And they're giving they're CP, giving CP. me they're giving me this instead of the arm for buoyancy, so it will float. Is it? Exactly. So it will float. Okay. And I and I also bought a clip so I can clip it to my to my diver. Maximum? How do I do it? Okay. When you reach the maximum, okay. or when you reach to the minimum, it will start to blink twice. Blink twice. Yep. And then you can just press it again. It will dry up again. Mm. Is it simple as that? Okay. And then to switch off, that's it. One button. Nice. And what brand is this again? Sorry. This is a Bubble Scuba. Bubble Scuba from which country? From China. From China, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, okay. besides than that, it operated with the Oh, you come with the battery, is yes, it? Yes, oh, okay. yes. What is what does the battery look like? The battery looks to... very huge, oh, but wow. it actually <laughs> helps you to do all what they call all day diving. Okay. So this battery will last for three dives at least. If you minim I mean you control the light. Right. So you do full blast, full, it will last only one dive. But but how okay. do I recharge this? It comes together with oh, a charger. Oh, there's a recharger. Meaning after each dive, yeah. don't uh, let it don't let it like this. Yeah. You have to dismantle yeah, and not wash every dive. it. Are you coming back uh, after yeah. one trip? Yeah, exactly. After one trip, you have to wash this right. and then with the concentrator to dissolve it. Dissolve it. And then you put that back again. Yeah. Nice. I like this one. Huh? Nice, nice, nice. So I just bought my first camera frame, camera tray with Scuba Holly. And this is the boss of Scuba Holly, Mohan. So Mohan, what is the big tip you would give to diver when they try to select their camera? Uh, usually what I like to do is uh, I, will, I will ask uh, what type of photography you like. Uh, whether you like macro or whether you like wide angle. Like then, what they are shooting, right? Yes, what they prefer to mm. shoot. Then I will recommend accordingly. Uh -huh. Yeah, because sometimes if you may buy, let's say if you like macro, you don't need very strong lights. Uh -huh. So then you just buy any Filter. light, then then you'll feel that oh it's a bit too much for whatever you do. Mm. 
So normally, if you want to buy gear, I will always ask, what do you prefer to shoot? Right. So like for you, for example, you do videography. Yeah. So I'll recommend to you a videography setup. Right. If you do macro, I'll tell you a video macro setup. Mm. If you take uh, photos, then either macro or wide angle. So I always so, cater to... So know what you want to shoot, yes. what kind of material content you want to make, then only you tell the consultant, like, this is what I want to shoot, this is what I want to make. Yes. Then they will kind of fit the, the equipment to you. Correct, right? correct, right. that's correct. And, and what are the... What are the things people need to, uh, uh, how to say, what, what things divers need to do when they film and when they dive? What are the things you think they, they need to uh, be okay, aware of? So, the first thing is basically watch your buoyancy. La. Watch buoyancy, okay. okay. Uh, because we're so busy, we're so busy yeah. filming and yeah. we're chasing after yeah. this and that, right? right? Yeah. So watch your buoyancy, uh, make sure where you're landing on, where your fins are kicking. Mm. You know, I've seen uh, people literally just to get a good photo, they break a whole entire coral. Oh my god! Their fins literally hit a anemone, oh. and all the clownfish had to move out. Oh god! Yeah, I've seen it before in my own eyes. So, oh my god! So please watch your buoyancy. Please know what you're doing. So it's not about just a good photo. Please okay. respect your surrounding. Yes. Please respect the marine life. Okay. Also, don't buy things that are overpowerful, overpowerful. like, like it, it will it will outshine you know like it will scare the the, 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 the marine life and, and all that kind of stuff away, yeah. so just get what you need so i think that would be the best thing to do mm. yeah uh, and most important wear a dive computer oh watch for? your no decompression limit because if you get carried away by taking photo at a certain depth if you get carried away and you don't watch your no decompression limit then you go into a deco dive Wow. And then when you go into a deco dive, you don't have enough air to clear your deco, then what happens? So two things, watch your no decompression limit, watch your air. Mm. Don't get carried away by just taking, just oh, by one thing, one a thing good to photo. photo. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can always go back, dive again, try again, it's True. okay. Yeah. Don't put your life at risk, don't yes. put the creature's life at risk. and Just be, for one be, good photo, yeah, so it's one. not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Good advice, thank you Mohan. Just discovered this very interesting dive spot. It's all off the coast of Borneo and it's all shipwrecks here. And I'm just gonna try to find out information about this. What's your name, sir? My name is Cindy. I'm working for Oceanic Quest Brunei. Oh, where is it? So right here. O o Oceanic Quest. So you do you guys bring people to dive at this uh, wrecking spot, is it? Yes, that is correct. So tell me a little bit about the, the wreck spot. What's so special about this wreck spot? Eh? So uh, Brunei has a lot of um, uh, wreck diving. Um, oh. And then um, uh, we have uh, like the Australian wreck, for example. Uh -huh. uh, like this is a very historical wreck. A few historical wreck. And then they also have um, uh, quite a few wrecks that is um, sunken on purpose. And and all these all these shipwrecks, they are warship or what are they? Um, like the American wreck was actually a warship, ah. but it was uh, sunk because um, uh, it was struck by um, a sea mine. Oh, it was and struck by a sea mine. Yes. Then it sank. Yes. Oh, and this this is it's actually a this one is a warship. Yes. But it's by accident, lah. Yes. And most of these are also by accident, or how did they sunk? Uh, a few of the wrecks are sunk by accident. Oh. Uh, and this one was sunk in World War Two. Yes, that is correct. Nice. This one and this one. This one and this one. So these are in Brunei water, is it? So we need to bring a passport to go there. Yes, right. oh. <laughs> you will have to. Yeah. Oh, so because it's in Brunei water. Brunei water. And to get there, how to get there, which is the port to of okay. Muara? So first of all, you need to fly. The airport is at Bandar Seri Begawan. Bandar Seri Begawan, yeah. And then um, it's about 20 to 30 minutes uh, uh, transport to, oh. to Muara, which is our dive center. is located right here. At I Sarasa. see, that's where Muara. you bring people. And I didn't know Brunei. I didn't know Brunei had such dive site. So this is very interesting. I'm yes. going to get more information. The company is Oceanic Quest. Yes. They are located in a town called Muara, which is 20 minutes from Bandar Sri Begawan. So find them if you want, if you're interested. In so one of, one of the reasons I come for this uh, expo is cave diving because 
I've been wanting to do cave diving for so long, I don't know any contact. And finally, I met these two gentlemen that does cave diving, right? Yeah. So you just specify us specialize in cave diving yeah so what what trip you do there for cave diving for now in malaysia we don't do any trip right we're more on exploration trip exploration exploration trip. recently we, we're doing exploration on ongoing project is on ipo perak area la. on ipo perak area yeah. la. If your ipo area so is it is there any qualification to join your exploration trip yes 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 you like need what to be of? a full cave diver first mm. Then after maybe you need to join us to field trip for the we call it leisure cave leisure dive. cave diving leisure cave diving. Yeah. So join you guys. Do you need a certificate? Yes. So there's a certificate for it. And how long does it take to complete the courses program courses training lab? I think it depends. If if you're not a cave diver until you're a full cave diver, I think it takes you ten two weeks around two weeks around two weeks to yeah. complete and then you will give a cert and then this person is then certified to join for the cave yeah, exploration yeah, yeah. yeah correct okay. what is the challenge and what is the the special thing that people don't know like? okay. so basically when we do cave diving we go to the beyond the zone that people have been there before oh. that means it's an unexplored area unexplored area so basically underwater cave is very beautiful and then full with the fossil wow or some other ancient kind of the thing like uh -huh. the uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh, the, the antiques, uh, antique, 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 yeah, yeah, antique yeah, so, yeah. stuff, and you get to see creatures yes. that are and the other that, species and so on. Yeah. And the species are different. And of course, it's in a cave, and everything looks very exotic and things like that. But it's it's how deep do you go, leh? So far, the deepest that we go is 100 meter. 100 meter. Uh, for wow. the exploration dive in Malaysia, so far the deepest is 50 meter. 50 meters, uh, uh, okay. but it still go below. Just we stop at the 15 meter for now. Okay. Okay. So now you know a little bit about cave diving, and there's a talk on cave diving tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. I think. One, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. So that's it boys and girls, that was the 16th um, edition of MIDE, MIND, Malaysian International Dive Expo. I'm actually coming back tomorrow because tomorrow they have a fashion show and they have lots of different forums and talks for dive related topics. I want to go to the one with the caving, they have a caving uh, forum that experts on caving, they give talks and also there's a fashion show so I'm going to come back tomorrow uh, for listening to all these very nice uh, conferences so uh, I really want to know more about cave diving and this is it this is really the expo for you to buy everything you would need for your diving trip and your diving gear so come to MyD they are here this weekend Saturday and Sunday at Putra World Trade Center and I've also had my own diving trip I went to Perhentian and I went to Sipadan so if you want to watch those diving videos there they are I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come to my day I'll see you here bye